So for this debugging demonstration, I'm going to debug the a version of the count letters function, and based on the C code, we expect to pass in count letters a string, the length of that string, and a character, and it'll count how many occurrences there are of that character. And so this version in the main function, we pass it in as the first argument, a string, str, which is the string uh, SSASA, -S -S -A, so on and so forth. We pass in its length and the, the letter S, and so we expect the count letters string to return the number of S's in the string, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we expect it to return the number 8, but what we see gets printed, which is the return value of this count letters function in fact, if we run this program, is the number zero. So we have one expectation of the behavior of the code, and that differs from the actual uh, outcome that we observe. And so what we're going to do is um, step through the code and point by point look to see if the behavior we see the code exhibiting is what we expect it to be. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to step through the program till I get to the main function. So here's the main function. There's saving the stack. Here it's setting up the arguments. And then we're going to go into the count letters function. And so before we do that, we might check to make sure that our, um, our arguments look like they're pretty good. So in A0, we have the address of a string. We have this hex 100100008, which points to some place in the data segment. Specifically, it looks like it points right here. So this is the beginning of our string that we're going to search. We have the string length and uh, 73, which I'm going to assume for the time being is the ASCII code for lowercase s. Um, so those seem pretty reasonable and we can see that in fact the 73 is significantly represented in the string that we're going to check against so that does give us some validation that 73 is in fact uh, ASCII s. So we could look it up but I'm not going to do that here. So I'm going to step through the program. I'm now about I'm now at the beginning of the the count letters function and here's the code here what we can see the first things are doing it's setting up uh, count and the um, the iterator i and so as so we step th through there um, we see those two variables, v0 and t0, are correctly being initialized uh, to zeros. And then we enter the loop. And so each iteration of this loop, we expect to inspect one of those characters um, and check to see if it is, in fact, the character we're looking for, and if so, increment v0. And so let's go ahead and step through. Um, so we're first doing a branch of greater than equal t0 to a1. We expect this to um, we expect to do each, at least one iteration of the loop, um, and we see that we do. We we are going to go into the loop. The next step is computing the address of the the first element of that string. So we're adding a0, which is um, the base address to T0 to compute that address and we put it in T1 so T1 is in fact the first character we load it and it's a 73 so we expect this you know should be an S we are in fact loading an S so that looks good so far the the next step um, is to uh, check to see if these match. And so um, we have this branch not equal of T2 and A1. 
and we would expect this to uh, this condition to hold and us to execute this um, the the count plus plus but what we see is that it doesn't in fact we had skipped over this instruction see that the current PC is is 0 a 0 so we we skipped over hex 9 C <coughs> um, and that that indicates that this statement is falsy and so that indicates that this statement is incorrect um, so we look at it a little closer it's comparing T2 with A1 um, but that is not correct it's supposed to be com comparing this array value that was loaded with C which C would be A2 but in fact it's comparing A1 and so there's a bug we don't know if that's the only bug um, but what we can do is go in and change that to A2 and we can rerun the program by clearing out all that old state and try rerunning it now if we run it to completion we get the value 8 which is what we expect um, and we can also step through the code to see in fact that the comparison is being done correctly if we step through there's the main function there's our call to count letters and here's the check to see again our first character was hex 73 um, and we're comparing that to a273 so we expect it to execute the next statement so the branch does in fact fall through to this count plus plus instruction which is going to increment v0 and so you can see that here and so that fixes the bug and that's why we get the correct output so that's just an example of stepping through the code and an important part of stepping through the code is you need to know what to expect from the code so that you can compare your expectation to what's actually happening.